produced by the Karelian Engineering Corporation over a decade before the Clone Wars, the Gozanti-class cruiser was first designed to serve as an armed freighter and was employed extensively by civilian contractors across the galaxy. Many ships of the class were later commissioned by the Confederacy of Independent Systems, where they acquitted themselves well in a naval support role. Following the fall of the Republic, the design's popularity caught the attention of the fledgling Imperial Navy, earning an important position as the fleet's foremost mid-range patrol cruiser. At a length of 63.8 meters and a width of 32 meters, the Gozanti class presents a sturdy and functional space frame propelled by a trio of sublight ion drives. Under Imperial service, a standard Gozanti carries a crew of 12, with space for an additional 12 passengers, most often including TIE pilots and embarked stormtroopers. The Gozanti carries only light armor and passable shield systems, sufficient for policing trade lanes or engaging minor pirate groups, but terminally inadequate when faced with military-grade weapon systems. In its Imperial configuration, the Gozanti class is equipped with a light ship-to-ship -ship weapons loadout. The cruiser's ventral hull houses a heavy laser turret, and the ship is protected from light fighter attacks by a dorsal rapid-fire twin laser turret. The Gozanti is normally used to carry out perimeter patrols or perform inspections, relying far more on its embarked craft to project strength than its onboard weapons. But the ship's turrets at least ensure the ship is not totally defenseless should it fall into CQB. The four retractable docking mounts on the ventral surface of the Gozanti class are most often used to carry TIE LN series space superiority fighters, granting the short range strike craft an effective means of traveling between systems in the outer rim during regular patrol routes. These pylons can also be used to house most other varieties of Imperial strike craft, including TIE bombers, TIE interceptors, and the prototype TIEs used by the Imperial Inquisition. The Gozanti is also able to operate effectively within a planet's atmosphere, and boasts more than sufficient lifting power to deploy a number of Imperial ground vehicles into combat. The ship can be loaded with a pair of at, -AT walkers, a pair of repulsor lift troop carriers, or a group of four lighter walkers, such as AT-STs or AT-DPs. This allows the Gozanti to serve as an invaluable heavy dropship in large-scale ground battles, quickly relocating heavy units to parts of the battlefield that may otherwise be inaccessible to them. After the standard Gazanti class had earned itself a position of significance within the Imperial Navy, the Karelian Engineering Corporation developed an alternate version of the Gazanti, known as the Sea Rock type. This version of the ship was larger at a length of 73.91 meters and oriented far more toward the cargo carrying role for which the Gazanti was originally intended. As has been the case with many civilian freighter designs produced by CEC, the Sea Rock has become ubiquitous among criminal groups and pirate flotillas for its combination of durable hull plating and extensive cargo space. Serving with the Imperial Navy for many decades, the Gozanti-class cruiser serves as an uncharacteristic exception to the effects of the Tarkin Doctrine, while modern and highly popular vessels like the Alpha Nimbus V-Wing and Veneta-class Star Destroyer were ignominiously retired in favor of larger, more intimidating craft, the aged and utilitarian Gozanti-class somehow became the exception to Tarkin's influence and earned a place of prominence, providing the Empire with a utilitarian and reliable design within a larger navy that was often far too willing to prioritize style over substance. Thank you for watching Space Doc. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share for more science fiction spacecraft summaries. If you enjoy the channel, why not consider pledging your support on Patreon? For just $1 a month, you'll be able to access the Space Doc schedule to see what's coming up.